It is April 10th and um, got a fence post down, but looks like the the herd is still where they need to be. Welcome to uh, McManus Meadows Grandman. Um, just about to go do our our first rotation of the day. Thanks for tuning in. Well, they're sitting here at the uh, north end of lane three. I'm just going to uh, head to the next uh, next break in the lane. See if I can't get them to uh, head south a little further south. Yeah, they're all looking good. Whatever that grass is, uh, Millie is eating. She's eating it quite low to the ground. So the notion is is to get a good stand of whatever grass they're enjoying, and then uh, keep it in. Uh, rapid growth phase so yep I'll be back when I call here they come made it all the way down here in this lane. This lane's a little bit tighter, um, but got, uh, we're going to, we're going to open it up twice today. Um, and <clears throat> so there's two spots trying to get a little bit of extra pressure. When we uh, when we let them in, Goggles has been leading the charge, and I'm uh, actually holding the uh, the poly wire. I'm gonna let uh, everybody else catch up, except for Millie. She's pausing back there. See if it causes them to move a little bit faster. Got a call here in a few minutes, so don't want to spend the whole day. Chasing the cows, but here comes Ginger. The stragglers, but they're coming. Everybody's coming.
keep watching for signs that nearly uh, our goggles are gonna have a baby. Uh, when I see them, I'll let you know. A little bit ahead of the rain today. Um, we're uh, halfway halfway through lane number three. Lane number four is what we're looking at right now. So a um, couple more, well, one more day, I think. Tomorrow I'll open up lane, the rest of lane three, and then Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, maybe Monday in lane four. It's a little bit wider. Uh, don't know how easy it is to tell the difference between lane three and four, but the grass is continuing to grow. There's actually more grass as we move <laughs> toward the uh, west of the property. Um, yeah, the cows are relaxing, so they're, they're, uh, Definitely not hurting for for food right now. So just walking up on them, they're all chilling. Oh, wasn't expecting that. matter goggles hmm. goggles is always quite friendly and first one through the uh, the gate when we're when we're looking to make a move here's JB he's relaxed no nobody's gonna bother JB and then, uh, yeah, Millie. We'll see. That's largely it for today. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Please uh, hit the like and subscribe on the way out. And um, we'll be back again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. As we uh, look to regenerate the pasture here. It's, um, it's starting for sure. It's amazing the difference between uh, three years ago. There's a video of the... Um, a drone flight from three years ago on the channel and then I did a drone flight two weeks ago and then here on the ground what a difference um, thanks for watching just one last thing that we're watching um, ginger and JB were born sort of the one day apart Ginger's actually older and um, uh, Ginger's goggles first calf. And it's interesting just the difference in terms of uh, how the moms treat the babies. But uh, JB, JB sitting back here, he's Millie's calf. JB's already weaned. Um, JB's looking good. But, uh, yeah, Goggles hasn't uh, weaned, and that may have a lot to do with uh, Goggles' condition, and, but we don't know. We believe Goggles is pregnant, or we don't believe. I don't know what we believe, but uh, Goggles got to eat a lot more to keep producing milk for, uh, for Ginger something to be aware of that's the end for today thanks for watching we'll continue to share our journey at grand man ranch <laughs>